generic greetings and welcome back to where ships conquer the skies once again in the previous episode we sort of redesigned one of our ships um we were originally going with this thing here the pestilence v2 now the v1 the reason it was very quickly uh, superseded by the v2 is because it just didn't fly high enough then we added the v2 which essentially we just <laughs> we just clamped another large suspendium chamber on the back but that fixed a lot of the problems and then we decided that actually you know what is the problem really it doesn't have much armor so we then clad some extra armor on which actually put the pestilence s close to the close to the original pestilence in terms of its service ceiling 85 meters and then 92 meters respectively and that's fine because this has come instead of more of a high level bomber that was originally envisaged it's now become more of a it's more of a sort of close range tall brawler so it gets very close not fast but it gets quite close and just absolutely peppers you with well basically there's 20 grin there's 20 grin uh grenades coming at you every hang on every um three seconds <laughs> so it's just grenade Grenade, <laughs> just, just just launch the things out, and it sort of worked out all right. The problem is that the uh, Pestilence S is twice as much as the original Pestilence, and uh, yeah, a, a little bit more than the Pestilence V2. That's a problem. However, we are in need and want of a carrier. And that's what we're going to be making this episode. It's going to be a quick assault here, hopefully, to get Gatling guns, and then we can make our vessel. Now, there's been several suggestions on what to make or how to make a carrier, and I'll get to the specifics in a moment. But needless to say, it's going to have a lot of planes, because it wouldn't be a carrier otherwise. It's hopefully going to have Gatling guns, and my, my uh, desire is to have it look a bit like a galleon, which is, you know, not historically what you would expect, but... The reason I want it like that is because, uh, let me place this somewhere where, ah, oh, that should be fine there. The reason I want it like that is because we can then use the sails at the top. Now, the problem with that is that the sails have to go on top of something, and the the landing strips, the uh, bits where the planes are, they also have to go on the top. So, we might have to change it, but we'll see. Anyway, let's just have a fight here. I'm just going to ground that ship immediately. So, as you can uh, clearly discern they have gatling guns and that's why i wanted to ground this thing straight away because yes it's just absolutely peppering the thing now that doesn't mean we're going to take a lot of damage the gatling guns historically don't normally do a lot of damage that's weird that this thing um no it's not actually got anything in arc why is there no target available for those guns are we just in that really weird blank spot i think we are aren't we here um let's just get closer oh good grief they are really chipping at this thing. Either way, as you can see, shots are out on all different places here. I'm going to target the ones at the front uh, with the torpedoes. I'm going to go to the flying pigs at the back and we'll say attack. And we will attack probably that, I think. Yeah. Obviously, this is the... <laughs> this is the city with the uh, Gatling guns. And I like that you get different flavours of nation based on their weapons so you can see that what the technology that they have has been utilized uh, in this case it's been utilized to reduce any standing structure to about three feet in height um, also I think there's now I think the I think the concentration of atmosphere has it's, it's not uh, I think the certain percentage of um, atmosphere has been altered by about three percent now being bullet uh, with the <laughs> <laughs> with with this uh, with this thing going out, I mean, look at the shots. That's silly. Oh, his rockets coming in. Oh yes, there we are. Just hoping for some nice rocket hits. There we are. We've got torpedoes and rockets. Those large rockets are vastly um, becoming one of my favourite weapons in the game, if if not the favourite, because they are just like huge torpedoes, and I really want that as a as a weapon. I really want a large torpedo. Um, I know there's loads of mods for the game and stuff, but uh, you know some of the weapons you can get are they're really good fun to play with. But they also felt I didn't really feel balanced in the norm in, in like they didn't they didn't really feel balanced at times. And like there was one that was a uh, I think it was called a like the spinal cannon or something. And there was a long cannon, probably about the length of this thing here, probably about the length of this, and it was just a straight one and. Um, it would pretty much destroy anything it clipped. 
because because of the I think the penetration was about 300 so it would always go through anything it hit so the first block it hit would immediately destroy it, and then the rest would just sort of fall out because uh, you know <laughs> it's all gone there's a victory there I'm gonna do a brutal takeover obviously we're gonna have lo lost loads of things so we'll repair the bot fly um, flying pigs are there so we've lost as always <laughs> we've lost the uh, big rocket ship let's go for uh, defenses here and I want to probably repair most of these we'll move these back while we're on there we go and probably move that forward because that's Gatling there we are and we'll crack on with that one so now that that's building we can design a carrier so aircraft what do we have to play with biplane bomber hazard blade, triplane so biplane Requires advanced aircraft. A bomber requires advanced aircraft. Hazard Bay, which is a miniature little airship type thing. And we've got a triplane, which is uh, fight fast flying units effective against lightly armoured targets. A bomber requires advanced aircraft. Houses a single bomber aircraft. Biplane houses a single biplane. Planes are very fast and exceptionally good at shooting down other small flying units. So, as you can see, these things here, it's long. It's stupidly long, and uh, we have a problem, because if we wanted to make a galleon, well, it's just not going to fit on, is it? So, let's make... I really... One of the mods that I really do like simply had these, but um, had it hanging down. It always reminds me of um, the third Indiana Jones film, where... The, the coming out of the Zeppelin and they've got that um, that plane hanging at the bottom of it. It's like on a hook um, And I can't remember there is a there is a, a term for that sort of uh, Device, I don't think it's called a plane hook. I think it's got <laughs> it's got a much more specific and detailed than that But uh, yeah, I, there's a mod that puts that in so you can have them top and bottom and it's really really cool but What I'm gonna do is make the carrier um, Probably fly quite high up this will be our our baseline here. We'll have a probably a corridor running right through the top. Although we won't have a uh, table corridor with ladder is only a little bit more. I'm gonna have this with corridor. That's not worked out at all. Hang on, let me just get rid of them. Right, get rid of those. Corridor. There we are. So there's your corridor. And then at each end, we are going to put a corridor with a ladder, like so. And we'll find another place to put these. Pretty much where the wheels are would be a decent idea. I think that's okay. So we can go up to the top, you see. All right. In terms of how high this wants to fly, there we go. Uh, what do I want to do? Well, really, the only thing we need is to keep this afloat. What if we make it cheap? I mean, it's already one and a half grand, so it's not going to be cheap, cheap. You know, it's not like the budgie cheap. We're talking, what's the cheapest we can possibly make this? Do we need that much ammo? No, we do not. Okay, the cheapest we could possibly make this is to have ammo either side like that. The question is, does this require coal? Bomber. Requires three supply. Doesn't say. Ammo. Don't know. Don't know if they I don't know if those require coal. I don't know. Um two supply, bomber, one supply, triplane. What does it say for the weapons? Hmm. says reload and for the 
coal requires one supply. So actually these don't need anything. Requires three supply each, yep. Yeah. Operations and supports one bomber. Contains and operates. No, supports one bomber. Operates one crew member. Doesn't require anything. Okay, that's interesting. So you're telling me that I actually don't need anything to make that. That can't be right. Surely there's you don't you need something to keep it going. It would make no sense whatsoever. Does it require some supply though? There's enough supply there. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Let's give this a go. I mean, this it can only not work, right? So on the front then, weapons, Gatling gun, one, two. We'll have the ammo right next to it. Like that. And then command and crew. No propulsion for a start off. Well, we don't need a lot of propulsion. It's got no lift either, but I've got I've got a plan for that. Engine pod, engine pod, engine pod. <laughs> no. Um, just a standard propeller on the back, I think, is totally sufficient. Um, double call as well. That'll do it. To it fly, no crew, can't give commands. Okay, let's solve all that problem. So, we want command and crew, bridge. Bridge go there. Command and crew, minimum crew, 11. Let's just put some stuff in first. Uh, do you want a telescope? Probably do. There we go. Um, so, quarters. One. Recommend crew, 15. Okay. So, that will technically work once I've done the modifications that I'm about to do now. So, we want... Lift, large suspendium dust tank, and... Where's the corn? Okay. Shame. Shame. Just trying to even this out. It's always going to be uneven. Okay. In that case, then. Makes sense me doing it that way. One. Two, three. Five. Corn on the front. Corn on the back. And then... <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the service ceiling on this thing. It's the highest we've ever had. And then we want... Oh, do you want... We could put a hazard base on this thing. Like that. Crew 15, recommended 15. Huh. They don't require any access because they just leave and then do they come back? I don't know. Um, it's very strange that that doesn't actually need connections. How how much more expensive is it? Oh, quite a bit actually. It's about a grand, I think. It seems wrong not to fill it up with that though. Okay, slight redesign then. Get rid of all these, right? And then we want hazard bears. Like that. 
and then move these along. And at least we do have access to that now. You can go all the way along, you see. Although it might be better to do you want to shift them along so you get more access. Then at least you've got access to them all. That makes more sense to me. Okay, we'll try that then. And fifteen, blah blah blah. No supply. Okay, let's put a let's put a large supply hatch in then. Service ceiling, 330 metres. Let's change that with a reinforced wooden armour to make it 184. That is totally fine with me. What about steel wooden armour? Uh, sorry, steel wooden armour. That makes no sense. Reinforced wooden armour is a total of HP 65. Uh, absorbs 3 blast and 6 piercing. Steel armour is 45 HP or less, but absorbs 20 blast and 6 piercing. Um, steel armour then. Still 200 meter service ceiling. Or we could just keep it out of harm's way if we go for the other one. But I think we'll stick with this one. Uh, we want a... Resources. A steel hatch. Bang. Mm. There we go. And that's us. There's no, there's no repair bay. No, there is. And we need more crew. Mm. There's a repair bear. We haven't got any. We haven't got anything to heal people up. Um. You know what we could do? Pull that out. And have a repair bear there. Yep. Repair bear there. Yep. 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 And sick bear there. All right. It's expensive though. It's 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 a lot more expensive than I thought. Right, uh, structural then. Struts, just connect them up. Um, hang on. Where's the main connecting bands? That's it. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and there we are. It would look better if it was. More forward. More forward, more better, maybe. Back one. Problem is the guns are at the front, so we have to consider that. Ideally, it'd be one shorter or longer, but that's, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> certainly not going to go around and alter the design. The reason I'm putting these struts on is because the last thing I want is for one bit to fall off and then the whole thing collapse. Which could be the inevitable result once we've test fired this thing. Right. Armor's on. Decoration. Do want flames? Or a meteor? I like the meteor on there for some reason. That fits on the back nice. And ideally, have a large figurehead on it. Oh, it fits on. Spot on. Oh, that's a. What do we want? Well, dragon figurehead. No. Eagle figurehead. Not bad. Figurehead with scepter. Okay. Kraken figurehead. No. It's going to be the eagle. Yeah. I like that one. Although, to be fair, that seems to fit on a bit better, so we're going to go with that one. Right. Um, in terms of lights, put some lights on this. Actually, no. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put those on. I'm going to put... There is a lan yeah, round lantern down. There you go. And... I think that's us. It doesn't have a nameplate. They've called the, it's its default name is the vampire. I quite like that. I think we're gonna go with it. It's the vampire. 
Why, why nameplate not go on? Oh, because we've already got several. And uh, we'll put it there. Oh, that's actually right over where the pit will look out from the bridge, so maybe not. Right, there's the vampire. Save design. Save. Build. And we will see if that works. <laughs> I have no idea if it will. It's expensive. But I'm going to build two of them. Build ship. Vampire. Now, I've already thought of a problem. That can probably take out a lot of things. Apart from other aeroplanes. So... I probably want to alter it so it has at least a couple of biplanes. But let's try those out and we'll see what it is like. And that'll be next episode. Next episode we will go ahead and see if those function by attacking here. Which is probably the perfect target because we've got actually a lot of bombers and I don't know. I'm already very, very... I'm already very worried that um, we won't have... Anything, like, we, we need some planes. Mm. Let me know what we think about that one. Next episode, we'll try those out in anger and then maybe do some alterations and have a V2. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.